So before we start the video, I just wanted to show you the plant. This is the Bismarck Chocolate Long SP, grown in cocoa and perlites. 70% cocoa, 30% perlite in an autopod system. I'm using canna nutrients A and B as main nutrients. You'll see I'm definitely struggling just to eat a tiny piece of this really hot pod. Welcome to my channel. My name is Phil Dangerman. I've got a relatively new um, YouTube channel. I'm usually more active on Instagram. Today I'm going to um, try the Bismarck Chocolate Long SP, or Bismarck Chocolate, short. And um, I think it's probably the hottest pepper I've tried on camera. And I'm a little bit scared, completely honestly. It's uh, 1.8 million Scoville heat units, according to some. But I mean, when you read those Scoville heat units, um, it's often just an estimate, because it's actually a little bit expensive to get them tested. Um, but you can do that. You can actually send your seeds to like a, a lab somewhere in the US, I think, and they'll... You have to send quite a few of your pods or dried pods, and um, they will then, um, yeah, for, tell you how much uh, Scoville heat units um, they have. All right, so let's have a look. Are you getting there? Come on. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be very careful this time because I do not want to touch these and then touch my face or actually burn my skin on my fingers. I'm gonna use my um, troll hammer knife. It is this one, let's see if that works, does that work? Yeah, so about here, okay. Um, all right, but let's just get into it. Um, no, actually, before I get into it, I do wanna say that this is apparently a cross between a, a Skunk Red and an MA Watrix. And it was a cross made by um, uh, Rocco Maltesi, like um, a really amazing pepper grower and crosser in Italy. Um, but he made the red one. This one is a chocolate version. I'm not completely sure where the chocolate version comes from. But um, yeah, should be, should be interesting. So I'm going to get rid of this little thing. And first I'm trying it with these two cameras, so let's see if that works. That you, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So I'm gonna cut this guy in half. Um, oh my god, look at that. It looks, it looks scary. So, yeah, here, 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 you can see it. All right, so I'm gonna quickly get out the seeds um, because these are worth saving. And then, um, then I'm gonna try a piece. I'm not sure how much yet. Um, but I'm trying to try a piece and chew it up, let you know what I think, and then, you know, die. Okay. It smells, has that overwhelming kind of strong, super hot smell. Like, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, um, they all smell similar to me. I'm not gonna lie. But let me get rid of these seeds. Da -da -da. The seeds are quite small, um, actually. I hope they're they're old enough. But I've left this pod to you know ripen quite a while. I mean, you don't want to you don't want to just take the pod off once it changes color. I left it for over a week extra so that it can mature and so the seeds can get to an age where they you know where they're viable. And who knows what happens with these with this pod? I mean, there was so many flowers around it from different peppers, and I have these bumblebees that fly around. There's a chance it's going to be cross-pollinated, but um, I kind of find that more fun, so I'm not really too worried about keeping these um, strains pure. That's other people's jobs. Okay, so, um, people like to say it's oily. It is oily. Yeah, it is oily. So, let's have a look here. I should have weighed this guy. I'm going to weigh it. After, I mean, the other second one here. And then um, I'll put it under in this in this video. The placenta, I mean, it wasn't, it didn't really go all the way up, but I feel like the placenta kind of lined the inside. I feel like this whitish stuff here. I mean, this is in a way placenta. So I think I think we can say there is quite a bit of placenta here. Okay, now I'm just talking because I'm scared of eating it. I'm gonna have a little bit of my German juice. And let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this piece here first um, and see how I go. Alright, 
so oh. instead of swallowing it I did just spit it out because I don't want to have the stomach cramps tonight I want to sleep well <coughs> and be productive tomorrow oh I can't speak This isn't so interesting. Uh, I should talk more. <coughs> Flavor is great. Oh, fantastic. Uh, floral, you know, all that. Oh, fuck. As you can see, I'm not used to eating super hot pods, which is, I suppose, more entertaining for you. But I don't do this regularly. Whew. Ah. Ah. From what I read, people who can really handle spice very well, it's not that it hurts less, but they learn how to deal with it and they kind of know it better. So I gotta learn. Because right now I'm not handling this very well. Oh my god, that's fine. But it is fucking hot. It's like very hot in the ah, in the back of the tongue. I'm trying to say something interesting to describe the flavor, but honestly, it's just fucking hot. It's really nice and crunchy. It has a nice initial flavor. Um, but then the heat kicks in and it's all the way in the back of the th tongue and the throat and the eyes get really teary as you can see oh my nose is running ah. now it's kind of leveling but even the top of my mouth is burning and hot damn It's leveling, but it's um, but it's staying as well at the same time. All right, I'm sorry there wasn't much talking in here. You heard me swear and make other noises, but um, I guess thanks for watching. Uh, watching, not watching, and um, I'll make a new video soon. I'm gonna be making one on, um, on yeah here, muted peppers. These guys, super interesting. And I'm talking to a couple of people who, one of the guys who discovered them back um, over ten years ago. And yeah, I'm gathering something for so I can put it together. Thanks for watching, and um, see you next time.